Today is day 19 of 75 hard and we just wrapped up our third camping trip of the season. We weren't able to go camping very often this year because one, the fires, smoke, the heat, etc. But tips for camping when you're not drinking. Here's the thing. You want to sit around the campfire and drink, right? I mean, that's what you're programmed to do. All your life is you just go camping and you drink with your friends and everybody just gets wasted, starts the day wasted and keeps drinking the whole entire time. I am proud to say that I love sober camping. So I have a few tips for you if you are beginning this sober journey and you think that you cannot be sober camping because that's a lie. Number one, I highly suggest you find a sparkling water or beverage of some sort that is not alcoholic and pack your cooler full. We pack polar seltzer flavored seltzers. Um, lately we've been packing liquid death and then I will grab some flavor electrolytes or whatnot. But I always have something while everybody else is hanging around, drinking, having a good time. I can still have a grand old time without having to drink. And guess what? I don't have to wake up hungover. I'm fully present and I don't sleep in. I wake up, I have breakfast with my family now. <laughs> I used to just sleep probably until 10 or 11 and just be lazy. Just wake up and grab a White Claw or start drinking mimosas. That is what I did. But I just love coming home, not hungover from drinking for three days straight. One story is one of our camping trips in 2022. I started drinking on the way up the mountain and I ended up drinking so much that by the time our friends got there, I was already shit-faced and not fun to hang out with. I ended up puking and I was so hungover. It was just a waste. So then you wake up hungover and then you start drinking again, right? Because that's what you do, you hair of the dog. But not anymore. That is not me. <laughs> I have not been drunk. The last time I was drunk camping was probably June 2023, right before we quit drinking. So being on 75 hard and being sober, it is definitely key to pack stuff that you want to drink, that hydrates you, that isn't full of sugar. And so I highly suggest those seltzer waters. I don't mind the Hyos as well. Uh, those are super good. Also, eating. So number two, you're sober, you're on a health journey. You have to prepare yourself. I mean, so when we sit around all day by the fire and we're not moving our bodies a lot, we just want to snack, right? So camping comes with snacking and drinking. So nowadays we just pack healthy drinks and I pack prepped meals. I cut cucumbers, I cut carrots, I cut lettuce, I pre-wash everything, packed strawberries and melons and made sure that we packed good protein. We packed chicken and hamburgers and I didn't overpack. Um, Making healthy chocolate treats instead of having s'mores was also something that I found that was helpful for me 
to not stray and cheat and have a s'more. I love s'mores. But there are so many ways and so many treats out there that you can enjoy and not feel like complete crap after you eat it. I recently started making healthy no-bake cookies, um, protein powder, coconut oil, honey, obviously, like, there's a recipe for it, but um, super yummy. My kids love it. I love it. And you're getting your protein while you're getting your chocolate fix. Huge. Steps one and two, or tips one and two, pack the cooler full of seltzers, healthy seltzers, and don't drink all the sugary drinks. And pack accordingly. Don't overpack and pack healthy snacks. Pre-make everything. That's the easy way to do camping. Keeps you healthy, keeps it minimal, and then you can enjoy yourself more. And also, I noticed it was really nice last year when we went on our last, our first sober camping trip was doing 75 hard. You have to move your body, right? You have to work out twice a day. So walking and hiking is so key to, that is my third tip, move your body while camping. Don't sit there. Don't get yourself bored. Make sure you bring your bike if you can and go on walks, go on hikes, find places that you can be active at. I mean, it's not that hard. When I was drinking, I never moved my body. The furthest I probably, the most steps I got was back and forth to the fridge or the cooler because I was getting snacks, eating chips all day long and drinking whatever my hand could get. Beer, cocktails, hard seltzers, you name it, I got it. But now I'm moving my body so I'm not snacking the whole entire camping trip and it just feels so much better. I come home, I'm not sugar hungover, I'm not alcohol hungover, I don't feel bloated and disgusting because I drank my seltzers, I planned my meals, and I moved my body. We walked so much this last camping trip and it felt amazing. Why wasn't camping like this all the time? I don't know, you should probably try it. I would love to hear some of your guys' tips for making camping happy, healthy, and easy. We all want easy. I mean, I'm all about easy, but it was so enjoyable. It was probably one of the best camping trips that we've had. And it was because I didn't overpack. I wasn't hungover. I didn't eat like shit. And I just enjoyed being in the moment, exploring the area. The pictures that I took of the kids with the sunset, I would have never paid attention. I never, well now my kids don't pay attention to me while we're camping because they're too busy riding their bikes all around the campground. But here's the thing. When I was drunk, I wanted nothing to do with anybody but myself. And that is the truth. It was sucks being that parent because you only get your kids for so long and you only get to be this young for so long and this healthy for so long and all the times that I've missed out because I chose alcohol over my children and my family I could have went on so many walks I could have explored so much more with them but I selfishly chose alcohol over enjoying my family during my drinking days. I would fill the camper full of shit food. I wouldn't prep, I wouldn't plan. It was just chaos and it always made the camping it unenjoyable. So now I get to come home relaxed, rejuvenated, feeling like better and I get everything done in one day. It would take me when I was drinking at least a week to get everything cleaned, put away, 
and feel back to normal just to redo it all again just to go drink my weekend away drinking your weekend away is not okay it should not be acceptable and you should look in the mirror and see how you feel after you wasted friday night all day saturday saturday night and wake up sunday dragging ass it's not fun i don't recommend it i recommend trying camping sober go with people that can appreciate the fact that you want to be healthy appreciate the fact that you're not drinking i mean you don't want to go with people that say oh well you're camping who cares eat it drink it no i don't want to i'm here for a good time and my good time nowadays is alcohol free a lot of you say oh i can't camp sober <laughs> what's camping sober that's lame no, it's lame drinking. You don't do anything. You don't move. All you do is eat and stuff your face. And what, what is the purpose of that? It just doesn't seem... Like growing up when we were kids, do you remember how fun it was? To just run around and explore all day long. But then you got older and your kids now run around and explore while you're drinking your day away, not paying attention to them. I'm sorry, but I have been really realizing that I missed out on a lot so many years and I don't want to do that anymore. And I don't want you to regret it either. I don't, if you have like two and three year olds and you're starting your camping adventures, play with them, dig in the dirt with them, stop drinking, go on walks with them, let them ride their bike enjoy your time with them while you have them because one day they're gonna say mommy i'm growing up and it's not it it's gonna hit hard trust me i've been there take these three tips that i have learned firsthand for myself and run with them and tell me how your camping trip went filling your cooler with non-alcoholic seltzers instead of hard seltzers, not drinking mimosas, planning ahead, prepping healthy meals, and moving your body. That's really all it takes, and you can still have a badass time with your friends and family without adding more chaos to your life. Take it from me, been there, done that. I've done sober camping and I've done wasted camping, and I would much rather stare at the stars and remember the stars and remember everything that I did with my family and be fully involved and present and have that clarity than to ever drink camping again or drink in general. But let me know in the comments what you do for camping. I would love to hear if you are a camper or you aren't a camper and if you enjoy it drunk or if you enjoy it sober. Don't get me wrong, I had some fun times drinking while camping, but that's not the way of life. I don't miss the hangovers while camping. I don't miss dragging ass for three days after camping. And I sure don't miss gaining eight to 10 pounds of water weight because I didn't move my body, I drank and I ate like crap. I would come home every time the scale would be up eight to 10 pounds this time I actually lost weight because I moved and I didn't eat like crap and I didn't drink. So I'm just saying there is a life out there without alcohol. Take it from somebody that thought that camping was a free reign for a drunk fest because that's a lie. It's not. I promise you will enjoy camping without a bottle in your hand and you'll come home Monday, go to work and thank yourself. I can promise you that. So please like and subscribe. If you're loving my content, please share. Also, we have some membership options. If you want to be able to text me, unlimited. If you want one-on-ones with me, jump on over and check it out. I'm here to help and I want to see more and more of you feel the same way I feel 
and never look back.